Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Seen Beyond and Through with Monty. Remember this story from a couple of years ago? This is Treasure. She was 16 years old, and she had stated that she was a black supremacist who hated black people. Remember, her story went viral, and she went on the Dr. Phil show, and remember how all of us YouTubers were covering it. I didn't buy her story for a minute. Something told me gut-wise that it was fake, that it was a fraud, and sure enough, Within around a week later, she had a sister who came forward and said that her story was fake, that it was a fraud, and that we were all fooled. Well, 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 could this have happened again? This right here. I am beginning to get very suspicious about this. And the reason why, because I was there watching it, and one of the things which struck me was, why would the young lady allow someone to talk to her like that? Why didn't she just hang up the phone? And secondly of all, (laughs) why would he oblige her call? Why would he oblige her call on a day when it was a complaint show. And people have brought out to me, now I want to show you something. Yeah, I never heard of him and seen his subs went up from 30K subs to nearly uh, 300K within three days. He even uh, re-uploaded the video to make an additional 100, what is that, 1,000? Uh, in views uh, so far, not too shabby. Someone else wrote down here, that's a lie. Uh, he's at uh, 200K now. It took him years to break 30K. So reportedly it took Kevin Samuels years to break even 30K. Someone goes right here. Exactly. 300K to nearly 300,000. Uh, Snaphead. What is that? Snapperhead? Okay. So let's examine this. He was at 34K is what they're claiming. Now he's at around 238K subs now. Here's my question. And I was always wondering about the female who called in. Why hasn't she reappeared anywhere? Because I'm thinking, unless she's rich, and she stated that she was not, that she was making six figures. I mean, if she were to come forward right now, she can have at least 10K like overnight and build from there. And if she did beauty tips, imagine her taking down the wig, the weave, the eyelashes and did beauty tips. And she wanted people to give her advice uh, as to how she can build her confidence if it was really that low in the first place. And if she did her overall makeover, Imagine how many subs that she can get and how it can be very well monetized on YouTube. But she's nowhere to be seen. I find that very odd. And um, knowing what happened here, I'm beginning to think that was this an all-out elaborate hoax? What do you guys think? Do you guys think this was real? Has she emerged? I haven't seen her since then. But I find it very odd that with her newfound fame and notoriety that she hasn't appeared anywhere. Because with that notoriety, she can do a lot online. So I'm hearing all this talk about going from 34K and it took him years upon years to even break that and he was stagnant to all of a sudden he's at 238. So with these people on YouTube, 
I'm noticing that there are shows that people are calling in, but it's scripted. They have people saying things, you know, what they want them to say, and they're answering. Hell, I think I should do that. But um, I wouldn't put anything past anyone. Knowing what happened here, how we were all duped, it wouldn't surprise me if we were duped here. And ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Scene Beyond and Through with Monty.